everyone. I'm just making this video today because I saw on Jennifer McGuire's um, blog that she is doing a card drive for a really, really sweet cause. Um, she shared a story of a lady and her husband who lost their twins during her pregnancy and they just want to uh, maybe gather up a lot of cards to send them to other other mothers that are going through this and it's something that's really special to my heart because my husband and I lost a son um, almost two and a half years ago now so I can definitely sort of relate to how hard it is and how many emotions you go through when something like that happens. So I'm not really making a card today I'm just showing you um, maybe how I organize my cards and kind of cleaning out my supply and seeing if there's any that I can send for this really great cause. So here I have my little card box. I think I got this from Walmart when I was in college and it just so happens that it's like the perfect size for storing cards. So I just I just cut up a piece of paper, wrote on it my different um, categories, and when I get a card done, I file it in here, and when I need one, just pull out the ones that I need. And so I have a lot of cards in here from probably when I started doing my cards. So I I have some really bad ones. Maybe I'll show you. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't show you. This is like the first card I think I've made when I first get, started getting into it. So it's pretty plain as you can see. But you know, everyone starts somewhere. I think I've just been keeping it for the sentimental value. <laughs> I don't think I'll be sending that one out. But um, here's one that is really cute. This is using Lawn Fawn's Hedgehog's dies, or not dies, sorry, stamps. Um, I just used some key pattern paper, their scalloped uh, stitched border die, and I actually did the background like a watercolor effect with Glimmer Mist, so I thought that was really fun and cool. So that's one that I could send out. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Make a wish. I don't know if any of these would work. More of a birthday. Uh, some of these, <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever really send them out. Your special day. Welcome, little one. So, none of those. All my cards are kind of messed up, so it's not like. I can just go to that category and find something because I really need to organize them. So good thing for the beginning of January, getting organized. Missing you, those don't work. Here's a few, well no, not this one. Deepest Sympathy. Now I, I made this one a while ago, it's pretty simple. Maybe that one would work. Got some gold embossing on there. I can send that one out. Thinking of you. That one always works. I made this one a while too, a while ago. It's got a little die cut butterfly embossed sentiment. Put that in the yes pile. with love. I think that one might work. It's a cute little tag. Added some, I don't know if you can see, glossy accent to the little hearts down there. So I don't always use like, if I'm making sympathy cards, I don't always use like deepest sympathy or something because I feel like that sentiment kind of makes your card only for one purpose. But if you put something on there like with love or thinking of you, that can kind of work for a lot of different occasions. So here's another with love card. This one, I, I think this one was actually an accident when I created it because um, you can see the embossing here isn't quite 
uh, really clean, but it kind of turned out to give it a little distressed look, so I liked it. So that one might work. And I put this little liner on the inside because when you're making a card on sort of a dark or black cardstock base, you want a liner so that when you write in there, you can actually see it. Here's another thinking of you and thinking of you. So these two are cute. Just lots of pattern paper. This pattern paper actually has some flocking on it. So it's got that um, soft sort of velvety feel. And then I use a few little eyelets there. Thinking of you, this one's kind of cute. That one would work. This one was fun because you used the, uh, I ran it through my sewing machine to give the hearts a little bit of detail. Again, an embossed sentiment. Another sending hedgehogs. I just love this card. I think it's so cute. Not this card, rather the uh, stamp set. I just love the hedge hedgehogs, hedgehogs. <laughs> so we can send that one. Here's another sending hedgehogs. Can you tell? I just I just adore this stamp set. I think it's so cute. That one I did not color them in. I just stamped them and embossed them. Yep, that's embossed. Oop, there you go. Embossed. Just colored in the little heart up there with a white gel pen and added some pattern paper. I don't know if you can see on the camera. Maybe there you can see. But I did do some stamping on the background with Versamark, which gives a nice just watermark kind of look. Subtle pattern, so it's not like in your face, but there's a little texture to the background maybe. <laughs> okay, so this one won't work, but I just think that this Lawn Fawn stamp and die set is super cute. There's a little Bigfoot there. You're a rare find. <laughs> Maybe that's just a cute fun card you can send out to someone just to brighten their day. But like I said, that one won't work for this, this project. Then these are birthday cards, so I don't think any of those are gonna work. Happy birthday. Make a wish. And thank yous. So that's about it. Like I said, I really love this box that I think I found at Walmart years ago in college. Really sturdy. I'm supposed to hold all my cards in if I don't tip them over. <laughs> but um, yeah. There you go. So, got a little pile of cards here. Helped clean out my stash. Hopefully I can send them off to Jennifer McGuire for this amazing cause. And if you have any in your stash too, I'd say, you know, go ahead and check it out and Maybe send them off and help somebody that has a hurting heart. So, thanks for watching. Bye.